see ekwang my people look at ekwang look at this delicious ekwang let me ask you if you are abroad if you are out of cameroon when last did you eat ekwang tell me when last did you eat ekwang this is ekwang prepare all the way from finland guys it's looking so delicious and it tastes yummy 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 so guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time visiting tracy's corner you are highly welcome so on today's video i'll be showing you how i prepare my ekwang so this video is gonna be my part one on how I prepare my ekwang because I did not show you guys from the beginning how I started the procedure I'm just showing you guys today how I prepared it because I was supposed to cook it yesterday so I had to do everything last night it was really late so I could not cook the ekwang I do the grating and then I tie the ekwang and overnight then I kept it in the fridge so today I'm just going to prepare the ekwang so you can see I already put them in the pot and I added my dry fish, my crayfish, my black pepper and country onion. These are the two spices that are so so important in this ekwang. Country onion and black pepper. Mm, it gives that nice smell. So at this point I have put the first layer. I added my dry fish and crayfish. And now I'm just going to put the second layer of the ekwang and put it in, in the pot. As you can see because I like I told you before I did this overnight before going to bed so I had to wrap it up last night and then today morning I'm just going to cook this my ekwang but the part two of this video I'm going to show you everything I'll do everything on the same day I will grate out the kokoyam and the wrap it up the same day show you all the ingredients and everything so this one I'm just going to show you how I'm going to prepare it so I'm going to um, put the remaining ekwang in the pot and then let's see what i'm going to add again at the end of it so enjoy how i put this ekwang inside my pot At this point, I'm done putting in all the remaining ekwang inside the pot. You can see the pot is really full. So I'm just going to add in more dry fish at the end. So this is the second layer. I'm going to add in my dry fish and my crayfish. I'm done adding my dry fish now I'm adding in my crayfish this is the second time I'm adding dry fish 
and crayfish you saw it earlier so i'm adding in now more crayfish and dry fish and i'm still going to add in all the spices that i added before so now i'm still adding in my country onion the second time as well so this is country onion in that container that i'm putting inside the board and after putting in my country onion that is black pepper we call it bush pepper so that's bush pepper i'm going to put in bush pepper as well at this point the black pepper what next you can put in your seasoning cube so i have this um maggi crevette uh, i'm just going to add in my maggi crevette first before adding any seasoning cube at the end if this is not okay so i'll start by adding in my maggi crevette into the pot i'll move ahead to add in my salt so this is salt in this container i'm going to add in my salt at this point then why i'm doing all this there was water in my kettle like i'm already boiling water that i'm going to put into the pot at the end before um, allowing it to cook so at this point my water is boiled and i'm adding it inside the pot of a quang so i'm just going to put in hot water at this point then i'm going to cover the pot and allow it to cook so enjoy the cooking process and watch this video I've, like i said before if you're enjoying this video as you're watching please don't forget to like leave a comment and you can share and don't also forget to subscribe to my channel so let's cover our pot and allow it to cook for some time then we'll come back and check 20 minutes let's check how the pot looks like you can see it's already boiling really well um the equang is doing really good at this point so i'm not going to stir up this equang there is this secret if you don't want your equang to be so soft and scattered inside the pot it's advisable not to stir the pot all the time so i'm just going to shake it and and then at this point you notice i didn't put in any garlic ginger and onion so i'm going to add in ginger onion and garlic at this point so i'm adding in my garlic ginger and onion and i will add in more water at this point as well i don't want to because the water from the pot it looks thick already it can get burnt so i'm going to add in more water at this point to allow everything to cook up very well and this equang i'm cooking it in a very low heat i don't want to put it on a high heat and everything will get burned adding in everything like i told you i'm just going to shake the pot again like just shake it touch it a little bit and i noticed i tried to taste it it was not really tasteful because i've added more water so since i added in more water i'm going, just going to add in two seasoning cubes that's two maggi extra no salt nothing i'm just adding in this maggi and i'll taste it later on so let's allow it to cook again Let's check our pot again so you can see at this time the equang is almost ready it's looking really good it's been cooking for a while now so i'm going to add in my palm oil so my palm oil is the last thing i'm going to add into this pot so i'll allow it to cook again very well i don't normally add in palm oil at an early stage because sometimes this palm oil as well can make your equang to, to get burnt eh? i noticed that so i'm just always adding my always add in my palm oil towards the end of the cooking process so you can see since i was not stirring my pot that much like touching it all the time you see how the equang looks like it's not really it has not um scattered it's looking fresh and standing so it's not potty like they said potty potty it's really looking good so at this point i've just shake it a little bit i'll allow it now to cook again very well with the palm oil and then let we'll check it again later to see the end result so let's allow it to cook oh look at this look look at this pot of equan you need to 
get the aroma coming out from this pot eh my whole environment is smelling good ekwang so i think at this point my ekwang is ready because i've allowed the oil to cook really well with the with the ekwang so i'm just going to shake up everything together and then i'm going to serve this ekwang to myself and to my kids and husband and we are going to enjoy this delicious delicious meal so this is how your ekwang needs to look like after it's ready see that look again look at the last time the last time the last time so it looks really good because after that i had to allow it again to cook for some few minutes because i don't want it to to scratch or <laughs> to make my throat a type so i i really allow this egg one to cook really well really really well the cocoa yam to get ready and the leaf so at this point you can see my pearl of egg one looking so good and it really tastes good as well so this is how your egg one it looks like Okay guys, if you have watched up to this point of my video, I just want to say thank you very much. I really do appreciate your time and your consent for your baby girl Tracy's corner. Thank you for watching my video up to this point. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye bye. See you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video video and i hope you can try to have a kwang as your met as your next menu next time thank you bye bye